Hi, this is Zulin with a quick tutorial on how to upload a picture. Um, this tutorial is assuming you've already up, um, installed the editor pack. Um, so let's get started. Um, the first thing you want to do is um, select your folder in your project where you want um, the image to be imported in Unity. And then open up the folder where you've got your image on your computer and just simply just left click on the picture and drag it into the folder into Unity and Unity, Unity will automatically import that picture. There we go, the picture is now imported. So the next stage is we want to create a plane to put on the picture. So you right click in hierarchy and go to 3D object and go to plane. I want to put that zero, zero, zero. And there we go, there is your plane. You can rename the plane to picture by double clicking on the plane in the hierarchy. But well, normally you can. There we go. And we call it picture. Now to get the picture on the plane we need to add a new material to it but Unity will do this automatically for us if we just drag and drop the picture onto the plane. So click it, uh, left click it in the folder where you imported it, drag it onto the plane and then Unity will create a folder with a new material in it and it will put your picture on that material. Right, the next thing I want to do is uh, rotate the picture 90 degrees on the x-axis and we want to resize this slightly. I'm going to use the rect tool um, because the rect tool will allow you to resize it a bit like resizing a window and that makes it nice and easy to get the aspect right. That's about right. Okay, so now we're going to use Pro Builder to make the frame. Um, you can install Pro Builder from the Package Manager, where you can find under the Window menu. And once in the Package Manager, um, you go down to Pro Builder and click um, Install. Um, it says Remove there for me because I've already got it installed. But okay, and now we're going to make a new shape with um, Pro Builder. Um, it's just going to be a cube. There's our cube. Right, we close the tool. You see our cube. We're going to move it slightly forward and then we're going to resize it in the same way we resize the plane. Oh, and I'm going to call this frame as well. Right, so we want to click on the rect tool again and resize the cube to make the frame. We're also going to make it a little less thick with the scale tool. And now we're going to move the picture to the front so I can see it's in the right place and the frame is okay. Just move it a little bit. That's fine. Now we temporarily hide, temporarily hide the picture by just unticking it in the inspector. And we're going to go into um, face select mode in Pro Builder and select the front face. Hold shift, uh, oh, select the scale tool, hold shift down, and then scale using um, dragging this middle uh, square with left click. That will automatically inset and create some new geometry. Right now we need to extrude that a bit so click Control e to extrude, um, click on the move tool and then you can move the extruded face and that's basically creating the frame. Now we can go into the picture again and, and show it again um, and we could uh, adjust the picture slightly 
so it's actually inside the frame and we could adjust the size of the picture again because as you see it's not filling the frame totally or you could adjust the frame so we just adjust the picture that's about perfect now um, obviously we don't want the frame to have this default material pre-builders material on it so if you go into your materials folder and right click and create and create new material and we call that frame and now you can change the color of the material because I want the frame to be black and we're also make it a bit more smoother a bit of shine and now you can just drag the material left click and drag it onto the frame now that's nearly it for the picture as as an object, the only thing we need to do now um, before we, we uh, add the components to upload it to Science Space is uh, drag the picture onto the frame object to make it a child then basically um, it's all the one object now to upload into Science Space. Right now we need to add a couple of components, the first component um, press the add component button and we will pick uh, type in room and it's the room furniture component in the list. Just click on that. Um, because we're placing it on walls, you want to tick the on walls box. And we only need to add a, co a collider of the object as well, um, so that it can align um, using the collider. Um, and you do that just by dragging and dropping the whole object into the collider slot, because it's already got a collider on it. And that's that. Now we need to add the virtual goods component, so click add component again and type in virtual and you'll see virtual good. Now um, it, it needs a category, um, it knows because it's uh, room furniture that this is furniture so it can automatically fix that by just clicking this button. Um, you need a subcategory as well so we will call it art is what it is. Um, I'm just going to have a simple name of picture for now because you need to name the object and it needs a description otherwise it won't upload either. Um, detail you don't really need to change much from the detail tab apart from um, customization capabilities set that to full and then you can resize the object after it's uploaded. Um, Pricing, you're probably not going to be wanting to sell this, so tick the not for sale box. Um, icons, um, not really important if you're not putting it on the store, but um, if you are put, were going to put it on the store, you could um, drag an image into the store image slot there. I'm just going to drag the actual picture in there of what it is. Author, um, this is automatically being filled in because when I signed into the editor pack I put in my details um, but if you haven't done that this is where you would put um, your name and copyright upload you don't need to do anything with that now because I made um, this frame in um, Pro Builder I need to actually export it using Pro Builder um, so it creates a mesh filter otherwise Sign Space will not understand it and um, won't, it will create an error when you try and upload it. So um, you click on the export plus button um, we want it to be a prefab, we want it to include children so we click export and then we want it to go in that folder where we've got our picture. I'm just going to rename it to picture and then um, Unity will create the prefab. It's important that you make your any item you want to upload to Science Space a prefab because it's as a prefab that gives you the control to upload it when you right click and then you've got an upload to Science Space in the menu. Um, as you can see when I exported it it created this um, thing here which is actually the mesh filter which is actually the mesh and the geometry. Without that Science Space won't know what the object is. Right, so um, 
we're nearly at the end. Basically, all you need to do is right click and upload design space. Um, um, I actually already um, uploaded one called Picture before, so I'm going to change its name quickly because in my curator it will say I've already got something called Picture. So let's just call it Picture 2. Um, that should be enough to allow me to upload it. Right, so now I click Upload Design Space, Upload Item. It's going to ask me to save the scene because when you upload um, something to Design Space, the process it goes through, it, 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 it creates a scene to do the upload. And if you don't save your scene, it won't go back to your scene after you, it's done the upload and you lose your scene forever. Um, so let's just call it the scene picture as well and I put that in the same project folder and click save and then you'll see a scene appear here there's the scene and now it goes is going through the upload process this shouldn't take long depending on how fast your computer is and what you're actually uploading this is only 17 megabytes as you see it's uploading pretty fast there we go that's uploaded now um, if you actually if you went to have a look in your curator and refresh you'll see now my picture 2 is uploaded and processing that might take about 15 20 minutes once it's processed you could send it to review and once it's reviewed you will be able to uh, you'll have your object on live um, before it's been sent to review though you can open up um, the science space viewer and and tick the preview box and go to the preview grid to um, preview your item before sending it to live just to make sure it's okay um, basically that's that's it the end of the tutorial quite simple um, Hope this helps some people and um, see you next time. Thank you very much.